notice that the... Hi, I'm here with Loanis Menendez Cuesta, who is the teen librarian in the City of Delray Beach Library, downtown Delray Beach, Florida. And I'm really excited to be here with her today to talk about steampunk. So we're here in the beautiful teen room, um, and there are these booths and the wonderful bookshelves, and uh, it's just a fantastic place. And it's a place you really should come check out these steampunk books. So when we get started today, if you could just tell us what is steampunk? Well, I um, have to be honest, when I first started reading books that are now classified as steampunk, I didn't know that they were. Me either. So I, um, I really enjoyed the fact that I read the books and they were fantastic. Um, steampunk, you take science fiction, fantasy, historical fiction, and you mingle them all together and you put them in the um, Victorian era. So, for example, when you read um, Jules Verne's or H.G. Wells, you think science fiction because exactly. back then you didn't talk about time travel and you didn't talk about submarines. But then if you go forward in time, our authors are actually taking the elements of our technological society and retrofitting them into the Victorian okay. era. And so, like, Victorian era, when I think of that, I think about steam engines, mm -hmm. steampunk steam engines, you know, the big billowing puffs of smoke. And so that's that, but then we take all this really cool sci-fi stuff and technology that we have and we put it back in those stories. Right, so you're, you'll see automatons that are uh, not powered by electricity because back then there wasn't electricity, but they're powered by steam and gears. You will see um, biological contraptions. They're fabricated animals when they mingle DNA and they hadn't discovered DNA back then. Exactly and uh, you'll see um, different alternatives to our reality, like for example, a different cause of the Civil War or what really has caused other events in, in our history and just give it like a path not taken. What if this actually existed in the Victorian era? Here's the story. Yes, and so one of those stories is Leviathan by mm -hmm. Scott Westerfeld. Um, and this book, um, it's a trilogy. Um, this is Leviathan, this is the second one, Goliath, there's a third one, Behemoth. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, uh, it's set in World War I. Right. Um, and it's basically like an alternate history <laughs> of the causes of World War I and what happened. And Leviathan itself is actually like a zeppelin. Mm -hmm. It is a, it's a whale that has been fabricated with the DNA of many, many, many hundreds of creatures. And every cre creature brings to this whale different capacities that they can act together. So it's the British creates their army by these biological fabrications. And they use them for weaponry, for flying, for transportation. And um, then you have the Germans that their army is based on actual automating, uh, automated weaponry and, and uh, transportation items and, and very, you know, things that they didn't have back then. Yeah, and, and it's such a great adventure story. Um, it's about this boy who's the heir to the throne and then his parents get killed. And so now his life is in danger. And so they have to, so they go on this huge adventure. Um, I, I mean, and it's really a grand, grand adventure mm -hmm. story and a great example of steampunk. Right. And I like the fact that in the back, you actually get to read a little bit about what is fact and what is fiction. So if you don't really know much about the time period, that is always a, a little bit of a, of a help for me. Yeah, I always like that when that happens. Mm -hmm. um, another steampunk, and this is one I read before I knew there was such a thing, a steampunk, um, The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. Um, this series is so great. Um, it's another one of these adventure stories. Um, Lyra Balakwa is this little girl, and she ends up on this huge adventure with her uncle, uh, trying to find her uncle. Um, there are all these children being stolen. Uh, you may have seen the movie. Um, Nicole Kidman was mm -hmm. in the movie. Um, but you really deserve a treat, and yes. that would be to read the whole series. Mm -hmm. um, and in fact, the Delray Library even has the audio tape. This, yes. And that is so good because they it. have each um, each character is read by a different actor. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're listening to a play. 
It's really, really good. it was really, really fun. I really enjoyed reading the the Golden Compass before I even know that it was a book. And like you mentioned, the movie. Um, there are other books um, that were beca that became movies, but I saw the movie Wild Wild West with Will Smith. Perhaps our readers are young for that, but if you can look it up, that is a steampunk movie before we even thought that it was a steampunk. And yes. then. Um, there are several movies that are coming out with the genre, including the Abraham Lincoln uh, Vampire Hunter. Yes, and so let's talk about the, uh, the Vampire Hunter. Well, this book, we picked it for our book discussions. Our Teen Advisory Board picked it for our book discussions, and we also picked it for our um, Battle of the Books. And people ask me, is this uh, a steampunk book? And I, I, I agree. I think it is. In my opinion, it is, because even though it doesn't have that technological kind of infusion into there, it does have the different alternative history, like the paranormal, the vampires, the fantastical element in there. Um, and it's... I believe that it is a steampunk book, but even if you don't, you know, want to classify it into it, it's a fantastic read. It's very, it's a page turner. Well, the movie's out. Yes. So everybody wants to read it. Right. So, Although yeah. it is a bit violent to read. Um, just be prepared for some really tough um, Abraham Lincoln actions going on there. <laughs> excellent, so, yes. excellent. So, you know, the, the Delray Library right now, um, you know, really pushing the steampunk. Um, of course, lots of fantastic books mm -hmm. to be checked out here, and we hope that you will uh, come check something out. Thank you. Thank you so much. My pleasure.